Hi, I'm Bruce, and just over a year ago we began our homesteading journey. This week we get started on the yurt deck, making and pouring concrete forms for the footings. If you're new here, it'd be pretty great if you could subscribe and become part of our ever-growing community. And thanks to everybody that made it possible for me to hit 10,000 subscribers this week. Hey guys, welcome back to this week's vlog. Um, I've actually already started laying out for the yurt deck. And I haven't been filming anything because, well, it would have been filming me scratch my head and curse a lot and just get a bit upset. Lots of three, four, five measurements and all that, but I think I got it all figured out. Um, and I've made some concrete forms. So I just wanted to show you kind of what I've done already and then bring you along for the rest of the ride. Is Annie working hard? Or hardly working? Well, as long as you're doing something important, mate, that's fine. The man who named all the clouds was often accused of not doing anything productive when he was just staring out the window looking at the clouds. And where would we be without him and his cloud names today? I would be fine. I didn't even know the names of the clouds before. Well, that's your loss, Bruce. Come on, let's go and do some work now. I'm resting. So I don't know if you can see behind me there, but I've got like a noughts and crosses type grid laid out with a uh, builder's line all squared up and the rebar in the ground is marking where my footings are going to go. So I've made some 30 by 30 um, concrete moulds uh, out of the old rotten timber from the shed that I demolished where my workshop goes, where my workshop is and uh, yeah I'm getting there. My neighbour's going to come over with his mixer and we're going to get pouring and then it's going to be on to the easy bit. So I thought maybe before actually I show anything, this is basically the design. These little dots here are the posts, uh, the thicker lines are the supporting structure and then we've got the um, joists running across the top of that. And I actually sent this um, design to a friend of ours who's an architect and just said look is that going to be strong enough for what I'm wanting to use it for? And he said it was. So thank you very much, Tony. And then here, I actually made a slight adjustment to that measurement because um, I needed to make sure that these posts here um, sat within the perimeter of the yurt so that any water that runs down runs down the outside. And uh, here's all our string lines. Got one there, one there, and then one coming across, and another one coming across. That's all square with each other. And so jobs to do now is just mark out where the footings are gonna are gonna go um with the rebar and then bring my concrete forms down and put them in place. I still need to make a couple more of them because I ran out of screws, so you get to see a bit of that. That's all the rebar and the uh, footings located. So tomorrow uh, when I get up, I'm gonna make the rest of the concrete forms, start positioning them and start to get a bit excited about building a deck. Right, so it's actually now two days since I last filmed because I took a couple of days out of this week's work to go and catch the tail end of Willie Clancy. Go and see Grandad and his dad. Uh, and swim in the sea and all that kind of thing. So, feeling nice and refreshed, but I have to step it up a gear now if I'm going to try and get this thing done for Betsy's birthday. She fancies having the yurt up for them. Nothing like a target to try and hit.
So I'll tell you, I saw ages ago this uh, tape measure life hack, which I've just done now, and it's actually brilliant. So if you get like a bit of an obscure measurement, like, so I've got 39, 39.4, it's not that obscure, but like if you just want to make the math really quick and really easy, then hang the tape measure onto the corner of your piece of wood, and then offer up to something that you like, so that's 40 centimetres, mark 20 on there. And ping that across. And now if I get my tape measure. I'll just double check that measurement. 19.7. 19.7. Job done. These lines are just for my string lines. Um, when I'm puffing them down so I can make sure that they're square. We interrupt this yurt deck building process to show you. Hold on, you're out of focus. Do I need to do anything? No, just tell them what you got. Um, I've got some carrots, baby what the, carrots. What are the white ones? They're just all different varieties of carrots from the Irish seed savers. Oh, wicked. So there's like pale yellow, white and orange. Mm -hmm. And I got a golden beetroot and a red beetroot. And I'm going to roast them up for dinner. Yeah. Yum. Thank you very much. So excited. Lovely job. <laughs> anyway, back on. Looks great. You see that? See how good it looks? Yeah. Okay, so I think you kind of get the idea. I'm digging holes. But Annie has just brought out today's dinner and today it is all grown from produce from our garden which is amazing quick there's a horse fly on my finger ah, take this, take this. did it bite you oh, yeah it was biting me as i was like quick look at that mm. oh my god those carrots are the best are they have honey on that or no no nothing it's so naturally sweet How good is that? Really um. I actually think I prefer that to normal beet root. Mm. Anyway, that's three out of the 12 foot instug, so I'm going to carry on with this tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Um, getting back on, we're digging these footings now. I think you kind of got the general gist of it, what was in there, so I won't subject you to a long video of me digging. We'll cut to a time lapse.
Right, that is footing number 12, Doug, leveled, ready for some concrete to be poured in. So, my van's still off the road, waiting for some parts to turn up. So, uh, hopefully a friend of mine is going to take my trailer down to the local quarry and we can get on. Anyway, I'm going to go in and have some food. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Now, I know I said I was going to see you guys tomorrow, but... As well as honeybees, we also have bumblebees nesting in the bathroom roof. And there's obviously a lot of them now, but in the evening they sound like this. Anyway, I'll see you in the morning. Right, concrete pouring day. Got my neighbour Padder over and he's very kindly brought his mixer as well. And his experience, so we're going to be shoveling a load of gravel and cement and getting this thing done. Okay, we're nearly there. We just need a little tiny bit more to fill up this footing behind me here, and then we're done. So, uh, mix that bit up by hand. Right, that's the last of them done. A well-earned dinner break. Me and Pat are gonna go and have a stir fry. So I'll see you tomorrow when we take the forms off and see what they look like. Okay, it's the next day. I look back at what I said yesterday on the camera and realized I was taking the forms off today, which is not the case. I've got to leave them for a couple of days uh, for the concrete to go off. But anyway, it's uh, soon gonna be Betsy's birthday, my youngest, and Elsie has an idea that she wanted a candy floss machine and I hate all that sort of cheap Amazon stuff that just blatantly is gonna break in five seconds. So we went onto YouTube and had a quick look and we're gonna make one. Hooray! <laughs>
a box we made earlier. <laughs> right, let's go test it out. Nearly there. Time for a test run. Got anything comical to say, Anne? No. <laughs> <laughs> is that comical enough for you? Yeah, that'll do. Is the camera on? It is. Camera rolling. Right, hold on. I'll just. Put so I'm, so I'm Go aiming for the middle. I'll go for about that sort of speed to begin with. Okay, I'm scared! Pour it in. Fast driving. Yeah, look. Oh no, that's too thin. It's too thin. Oh, that's too thin. Yeah. Oh, not fast enough. No, it's not. It's too thin. <gasps> Even out of the holes we've made too big. We're gonna see by boiling it up whether we can get it any better. Yeah, it's only got half your face. How's that? <laughs> Test two. <laughs> uh, it was three when you did yeah, that. Yeah, but it's not. It's just firing it out. It's what too, do you think it is? Keep, well, we're gonna, the only thing we've got left to do now is to let it get thicker and thicker okay. and hope that it works. And if it doesn't, we need to remake the bit that's got the thing on it. You're lucky you buy it. Test three. Oh, look at that, look at that. Oh my god! Oh. Is it in the thing? Is it going to work on that? I think it was faster, it was going to walls rather than the bottom. Get the rest in. Okay, it kind of worked. <laughs> yeah, first go, didn't go quite. As well as we'd hope, say, so me and Al's going to go back in the workshop and make Mark II. Betsy's making lollipops out of it instead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not focused. Uh, Mac II. We've made it with a Franciscan's Well can this time, so maybe that will help. It's uh, an Irish brewery. I thought it was supposed to be Mark II. Mac II, Mark II. Is that the same thing? No, I think you're probably right. Mac time. So this time you're the silly one. I'm never silly one. Silly, silly! <laughs> we are on test four now. Yeah. It's another day. We must make this work. <laughs> oh, so help us. Oh, that's so frightening. It did work. Whoa, look at that! Okay, hold out to the camera for the success. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Are we going to make more? Well, look Not at that. Today. Not today, but anyway, you can end this week's vlog with a semi successful candy cross machine. Okay, so I've taken the wood off all of the concrete footings. Um, they look really good, so I'm really happy with them. Um, just got to wait now a few days before drilling into them and getting the posts on them. And um, I don't think I'm going to get it done for Betsy's birthday. And Annie's going away and she wants to be here when we put the earth up. So I'm probably only going to get as far as building the frame next week. And then I'll have to wait till she gets back. And uh, there's a saying around here which I very much like. Pressure is made for tyres. So I'm going to take that on board. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, it would be great if you could subscribe. And if you can click the little bell notification as well, that would be great. And I'll see you guys next week.